Let's take a look at how you can also invoke a Lambda function using the command line interface. Oftentimes it's easy to use the Lambda function in the console and test it out, but there are a lot of use cases where invoking it from the command line can give you incredible power and automation power for, let's say, scripts that you're gonna write. Let's go ahead and take a look at how we do that. So first up, let's take a look at this Lambda function again. You can see here that this is the event that goes in and I'm going to look for the word name Marco and if I find it, I'll return back Polo. So to test it out, I can go here really quick, uh, test this thing out, call this Marco, put in uh, name Marco. So name Marco, great. So once I invoke this, next up what I'm going to do is I'm going to return back the word Polo. So here we see that there's a uh, polo that shows up. Now, I also can do the exact same thing by using the command line interface. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. If I go over to a terminal here and I run this particular command and notice that in the Cloud9 environment, this is installed automatically, the AWS command line tools. And this is one of the key advantages to using Cloud9 for AWS development. I type in AWS, Lambda, Invoke, dash dash function name, and I put in the name of the Lambda function that I want to invoke, and then I give it a payload. In this case, the payload is the same thing. It's name Marco. I then give it a file to put the output. So the way this command line tool works is you have to give it a file that it'll put the output in, and then I just run this uh, pipe command that will print out what happens. So there we go. You can see that it returns back Polo, and if I run it again with a different name, we'll call this maybe um, out to, we can see that there'll be a different outcome um, from a different payload. So instead of having Marco here, uh, what I will do is I will put in uh, Bob. There we go. And if we run this out, you can see that it didn't work because I needed to um, put the, the name here a little bit differently. There we go. No. So uh, in a nutshell, this is a great way to invoke a command line tool uh, is to use it from the command line. And you could see how uh, maybe even doing a highly distributed uh, operation where you are going to process a lot of things uh, by invoking it in a command line tool, you can get a lot of power.